everybody welcome back to the channel hope everybody's doing good so far today it is july 17th 2024 i'm gonna show you a mower i picked up for 10 bucks i actually picked it up ooh, it's probably been about six weeks i was on a leave of absence to work at the time when i got it uh the price is right it was like ten dollars um the only thing i know about it is it needs another recoil which i think i can rob one off a pressure washer engine uh there's nothing wrong with the pressure washer engine it's just you know you don't got nothing really to use it for uh i bought it a long time ago back but i know it's got a good recoil to it so i think i'll use it for this right here and of course i gotta show you how the way it's set up if you guys saw the shorts video then you guys already know but if you, if you haven't yet i'll uh turn the camera around and i'll show you guys what we're working with here it is it is i know it's a troy built um i got it for ten dollars off facebook marketplace uh the guy said the recoil or the lady said the recoil was broke on it and it needed a new one which uh true to form it is it's broke i'm sure that cord is still good so we'll save the cord um it's got different size wheels that's a wheel looks like it came off a craftsman if i'm right about it with the teeth this wheel i have no idea what it's for so it's got some mixed match wheels here uh i don't know how they bent the side shoot up but they or the mulch cover but they got it up um i know it's a gcv 160 engine i know that for sure um they have a very interesting way of uh starting it it kind of works uh, but the only problem is, like I said, the handle tries to move up on it. I got a cable I can run on it off another project uh, I'm using for parts now so I can rob it to put on this one here. Um, that's the one where you got to choke it there. Um, there's your model and serial number on the thing there. Let's see what it's got for fuel. We do have gas. That's a bonus. I know that the Honda's here. You gotta, you know, you take the dipstick out, but you gotta, you know, dip it back in there. But we'll just look at it just to see what kind of oil it's got on the thing. It needs a real good cleaning. Uh, that's right then we're in trouble it's got oil but not very much and it's dark there so we'll double check that before we do anything but uh yeah side shoot i don't know what they did to this they bent it like i said the wheels that one's on the last bottom setting that one's on the third setting so I have to fix that. I'll have to see if I got some mixed mat, uh, same color wheels to fit on the front of it to, you know, make it look better, make it look appealing. There's your way of taking it off, turning it off. You put a wire here and pull the spark plug out, and I don't know what that's to. That's a wire hooked up to something. Where's it go to? goes to this it goes to this it goes to this what the what the hell we got going on here what the there's some kind of wait a minute what is this what the what is this okay Oh, what the, what the, what is, what is this? Oh my, God, this is the gift that keeps on, oh God, this is the gift that keeps on giving. That's going to be a very interesting one to get going again. Well, let me go in the shed. I'm going to go pull that recoil off of there. I know it's going to be short, so we're probably going to have to restring it. Maybe I'll just reuse this string if it's any good. And, uh, i have to watch out for these to see that they don't take the studs off them this one's loose 
Okay, we'll figure it out. Let's let's start doing some wrenching on this bad boy. Let's see if we can get this thing at least going. Okay, I got the other recoil, but like I said, <coughs> it came off that pressure washer, so it, it's going to look like it's backwards. So I can re maybe reverse it. <coughs> <coughs> Maybe not. Oh boy. Okay. That's not going to work. Let's try to find just something. To... I just realized after the fact and before I turned the camera off, I was like, wait a minute. That's a pressure washer one. It's not going to line up. And sure enough, I am correct. And the reason it's not going to line up because number one, yes, because it's the front way of, of moving it, number one, but number two, the holes don't line up correctly because if you try to put it this way, it's going to be this way and it's going to go off that way there. So that's no bueno, but guess what? I still had another one. And it was off another engine I was trying to, I got for free. The deck ended up being trash, and the engine, I think, had no compression on it. But it was another GCV 161 here, so I got one. And I took the little nut things off of it as well. Actually, that's from the pressure washer. But let's see. Oh, that's a 11. So mismatch hardware. Yay. So we need a... 11 to get this broken one off. And I bet you the studs broke on there too. Let me get the 11. Or it's probably a 7 16. Seven sixteenths. Let's see if it. Let's see, hopefully not the stud doesn't pull out of it. Yep, the stud's pulling out of it. That's about right. Everybody puts these things on here. Get a chance to look at this, what is it, whatever's going on underneath here real quick. <coughs> get it with a 10 and that so let's see what's going on we got some bugs what the wait a minute is this their way of getting the cord off of there well oh, you guys gotta see this <laughs> you guys gotta see this the way this is set up let's see here you go here's this this is going to something. This is going to something. It's going right here to right here to tied up to the spark plug boot. It's going around the engine. It's going this way. And then it wraps itself back around there. That is my grand late grandmother said, ain't that a fine kettle of fish, huh? Alright. Let me get a wire. Let me get my wire snippers. I might have to cut this whatever, whatever the heck this thing is. I don't even know. Let's see. What is this? Is it unhook? Unhooks. Let's play a puzzle. I don't even know if this thing runs, but. I'd rather do it when there's not this junk on here. Oh, you know 
what the hell this is. <laughs> Excuse my language, but I don't know what this is. Uh, spark plug boot has got a tape on it. So it must have broke at one time or another in its lifetime. I don't know what this cable's for. Right here. I should have put this on the work my, my table. It's a wire to something. Yeah, the tree frogs are liking this, huh? Okay. Night. I don't know what they were trying to accomplish. I'd accomplish something. I don't know what though. Somebody getting it down the road. Get it, boy. Get it. Somebody flying. Somebody flying like somebody's chasing them. Okay. I tied it around the gas. Tied around the gas tank. to do okay tie it around the rope okay and where are we back to they try to hook it up to the spring oh okay And then, whatever this thing is, okay. I don't know what the, what the purpose was. I didn't tear it up. I don't even know if all this works. That's, it does, there's a, all these dead cicadas and stuff that were on here at one time. Okay. All right, let me get this. Let me get that boot that off of there real quick. Let me pause you guys. Let me get that off. I'll bring you guys back. Oh, All right, the gift that keeps on giving. Let me see if I can get this off of here. I got a 10 spanner. And hopefully nobody can break this, this nut off of here. And we don't even know if it runs yet. But that's the only way we're going to find out if it runs. I know I can hook up a drill, but I don't want to do that. Alright. Well, there's the busted up recoil. What it did right there. I think all it did was it's missing the little eyelet thing. Somehow that ripped out. This might be still useful. But neither here or there at the moment. All right. I'm not putting that nut back on there. And where'd the stud go? Oh, it hurt. There it is. Hey, it's that guy. All right. Let me switch. Put my 10 long on here. And... Did they cross thread it? Oh man, I hope they didn't cross thread this. Because that means I'll have to take it off another engine, which I might have to. All this over. I'll push them over. I mean, I got another. There's a cable. I got off another engine. I can throw on here as well. this on here like so I'm gonna say don't tell me you don't fit okay these are 
actual tens. I hope they didn't mess that up. Put it on there by hand. Putting it on there that tight, it's not the space shuttle, it's just a lawnmower. But I am going to make sure it's on there. And we'll double check that Earl, Earl again and see. I don't even know this would work. Okay, because we don't even know if it's got compression. Or anything but the only way you can find out if you do all this stuff to it let me put all this let me put on my bits and bulbs right there let me get you guys out here put you guys right here Huh? The blade's bent. Yay. Oh, that's lovely. So this thing's got to shake. The blade is bent on this thing. I was making some clink 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 noise. Hang on, let me get my hand, let me get a hand. Uh, over here. The spark plug blew is off, so I don't have to worry about accidental farting. So dirty. I hear something. All right, let me check the oil real quick. You guys still in earshot? Okay. Got some dark oil though. Oh shoot, it's not even registering on the stick. Oh, that's great. We have no. Oh, you've been rode hard and put out wet, aren't you? Hardly any oil. It's not even registering. Well. Let me just see what it does. Let's hook up the spark book boot anyway. This thing would probably already was damaged there anyway before I got it. But before I go in any further with this thing, let's just see what it does. Oh wait a minute, you gotta choke it, I forgot.
She's not a starter. She's not a starter. What's the air filter look like? I didn't even look. Well, I stuck a Briggs and Stratton one in there. The good old 491505888, I mean, excuse me. Which fits in there too. At least I got an air filter. Right again. Alright, let me go get some go go juice and throw in there. We'll see what it does. Alright. And then starting fluid. I'm pretty sure the gas is probably off on it, even though that's on, but we'll go ahead and take that off of there. Take this off of there. Let's just see what it does. It's probably an engine shot, by judging by the way that sound. trying to start. Yeah, that's a, that's a, that engine shot. going any further with this project that's for sure well at least it was only 10 bucks but the only problem is it's 10 bucks that uh not gonna mount to anything anything but parts now that engine shot good lord that kind of sucks well i got a good deck it sucks that the engine shot now well this is a very short video huh I'm gonna pay ten parts, ten bucks for a parts mower. Basically, I wanted to see if I can get this one going. I thought maybe it'd be an easy fix for ten bucks. Just throw a recoil string on there, and you know I'm a merry way. But <coughs> if I didn't run, I, if I probably didn't run this already. Somebody else probably already ran it, so it's it's shot. It's gone. It's a goner. It's pretty much parts now. The deck is in good shape. Okay, so I just got to find another engine to throw on it. Alrighty, so... I might be able to use parts off that engine to fix another engine off another mower. I think I actually paid $10 for and it's a Troy built, but it's the, the other uh, Troy built. St different style mower. Might try that and see, but the carburetor looks like it might be good on it. I might steal that to fix another project I got. Because if it runs, I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to switch the carburetor out. I got another mower I got to fix up. It's a Troy built just like this. Okay, well anyway. Um, like I said, I got a Troy built mower. It's one I'm actually working on. That's a video I'm working on. You guys will see it soon. <laughs> um, it's a it's a Troy built one. My brother in law gave to me with a pressure washer, and I I got it running, but it surges real bad. I switched that with another carburetor, still surging real bad. So if this carburetor is good, I think I'm gonna go take it off of there. I'm gonna do this off camera, taking that carburetor off of there. I'm just gonna go ahead and peel for the parts off of it and. Now I'm not going to even worry about putting oil in it because it's already, it was probably already ran already without oil. <coughs> so I had a cable for it, but I'm glad I didn't waste time putting one on there. 
All I did was put a recoil on it. So, uh, muffler's good. Gas tank is good. Um, air filter box is good. Air filter cover is good. Back wheels are still good. Um, there's there, there's plentiful of parts. So, I know I paid $10 for something. I thought maybe I could fix and flip it back out. But, that's alright. We know. I'll... As my grandmother said, we're going to rob Peter to pay Paul. So I'm going to go ahead off camera. I'm going to go take that carburetor off. I'm going to go probably clean it and soak it. And I'm going to go start another video on working on this other Troy built mower here. So anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and get off of here. So uh, a little short video. So um, if you guys like this, you know, you guys give me a thumbs up there. Sorry. Moving around the... I'm on the tripod holding you guys. Sorry. So if you guys like this, you know, give me a thumbs up there. Like like I said, we can't save them all, but uh, that's going to be a parts machine to fix up another mower that I know needs the parts. So anyway, you guys like, share, subscribe, and keep on turning those wrenches, y'all. See you guys on the next video. Y'all take care. Catch.